Hi guys, so I'm back with another requested review and I have to say that I'm really, really loving this one. This is by the Isis Brown Sugar Collection. It's a human hair style mix, meaning human hair blend wig, and it's called BS115. I'm wearing her in the color SR1B Teal. So it's 1B at the roots with teal come all the way out, but it mi it's mixed with the 1B as well. So it's teal and 1B mixed together. I am so in love with this. First of all, I love the texture. From the minute time I took it out the package, the texture, it has a natural yaki texture. I just love that thick, that thickness and that coarse feeling from it. I just love it. I'm not sure if you're able to see the little crinkles. I love the texture so much and the color is really really pretty it's not a lace front wig it's a full wig but it comes with a lace parting I tweeze the part and add some powder I'll show you in a little bit how I did that but yeah so it's really really cute and you know it could take heat definitely because it's a human hair blend so it can obviously take some heat um the washing instructions come on the back of the stock cut and everything this is what it looks like I'll leave a list of the colors that it come in down below. I'll also leave a link to it down below because somebody got to get this. Somebody has to get this. And it's an asymmetrical bob cut. So you'll get to see the back and I'll just go ahead and show you how I tweeze the part and everything. Okay guys, so this is your hand tied lace parting right here. And this wig doesn't come with any combs either. It just has the adjustable straps at the back so you can adjust it to fit your head size. And the parting space is very thick, as you can see, there's a lot of volume up here. So I'm going to go ahead and tweeze the part. And remember I said um, one of the ways I find it easier to tweeze a hand tied lace parting is by pulling from the knot itself, like right at the roots. Pull from there, come out, and it makes it so much easier to tweeze. I mean, it'll be a little bit time consuming, tweezing the part is time consuming, but um, it's easier that way in my opinion. So. So I had some difficulties tweezing the part because um, the lace on this is very soft. That's what I noticed. And even from pulling it from the knot come out, it felt like it was going to rip the lace. So I really had to take my time and tweeze it. So I didn't give it a clean tweeze. You know, it's, there's still a little bit of hairs in there, but it's not as thick as it was before. So it's good this way. And um, the cap is comfortable. It's very, very comfortable. And as you saw, it doesn't come with any combs or anything. So you could add a hairpin or you could sew in a comb or a clip if you want to. I personally don't like combs. I don't like clips. I don't really like hairpins unless I really, really need it, but I really don't like it. So I didn't add anything, but it do feel secure just like that. Like it's not going anywhere. It's really not going anywhere. So guys, um, I think this is about it in terms of shedding. The only hairs that came off of this is after I tweezed the part. That was the only time I got some hairs off of this. It's very, very soft. So there was no tangling whatsoever very very soft like i said the texture is awesome it has like this coarse yaki texture so it's very soft and i love it but anyway guys um thank you so much for watching if you have any questions make sure to leave it down below i'll be sure to answer it as soon as possible um you can check the description box for the link to this if you would like to purchase it and also just to view um the different colors that we have but anyway guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon Bye bye.